experience of the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. You know that we've just um, come past the 50th anniversary of the death, murder, silence of former President um, John F. Kennedy. Um, and here in the Washington area, they, you know, they, what they've done, ceremonies in honor of his passing, or the anniversary of his passing, and it's been mentioned um, that there was a speech he was going to make the day that he was killed, and uh, in the speech, which I believe that they did read on the anniversary of his death that just passed, um, they read from Psalm 127, well, they quoted, they read from the speech he was going to make, and in the speech he quoted Psalm 127, verse 1, where it says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. And I just wanted to say that the Lord's eyes are upon Israel. He is watching all that is going on. He knows the end from the beginning. He is never taken by surprise. And I believe that he wants all of us who are spiritual Israel, Israel as well as those of us who are the descendants of the bloodline Israelites and those who are um, Israelis, whether living in Israel or um, if you are the descendants of the Jews or the different tribes of Israel, then you are in the diaspora. I believe that he just wants us and for you to know that um, he's got it all in control. Amen. And so I would encourage you to read Psalms. I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Verse 12 says, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, yea, those nations shall, utterly, shall be utterly wasted. Verse 15, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an, an, an eternal excellency, the joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Verse 18, violence shall no more be heard in thy land wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by, thy, by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light in thy God, thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall the moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. I would also encourage you to read Isaiah 62. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake will and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth, and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a new name. 
which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt be called Hephzibah, and thy land Beulah, for the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen on thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies, and thy sons and the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise the Lord. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, Gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of, say ye to the daughters of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. The Lord has not, nor shall he ever forsake Zion. And so I just wanted to um, encourage you with that. Those of you who do not know that Yahusha is Messiah, I pray that you accept him as your personal Lord and Savior today. Baruch Hashem Adonai. God bless you.